Good morning, Facebook. Okay, so I tried to make this video last night, and there's so much information that I can say that it just kept getting too long. And I also needed to talk to Jeremy when I got home. So um, I started to do that, and we still have to talk more. He's He was not quite getting what I wanted to talk about and why. So we... To make a very, very long story short, we are going to take a TTC break. Um, it's nothing that I really want to do. Um, you guys know me, I want a baby, so, well, I want a child. Um, I, it's been bugging me a lot lately. Uh, a lot of the parents at our center, oh, I miss my baby, I want my baby back, and they're like sad that their babies are becoming children, and it bugged me. Anyway. So, obviously I don't want to stop trying, but there's a few things that have come up that we really had to take into consideration and um, decide whether to keep trying or take a bit of a break. So, um, the main points of that are, for one, my job, for two, um, my wisdom teeth and for three, some projects we have going on at the house and the money that they're gonna take. So, the money aspect of it, I need to finish paying off my medical bills and um, our house projects are gonna cost us quite a bit. So, after finish paying off our med my medical bills, we need to redo our back and front yards, like I've said already. Which, even if we do everything ourselves and get everything at a really good price, it's still going to cost quite a bit. We have about 6,500 square feet of land that we need to um, basically just totally overhaul. So, it's going to cost a bit of money to do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, there's that part of money. And then, on top of that... Um, in wanting to own my own home daycare so that I can stay home with our kids, there's a few projects we have to do. Um, we have a little bit of painting, just a little bit of painting to do on the inside. It's um, like a room and a half of painting. And then we need to um, make a mantle and a surround for our... Um, yeah, fireplace, for one, because it's ugly. They did a, like, it's brick, but they painted it white, and they didn't do a good mantle. Like, the mantle is, like, four inches wide, and it's just, you can't put anything up there, really. Um, and then the other project, the big project inside the house is um, that we need to get some storage space into our living room. We don't really have a lot of closet space and stuff, so, and right now a lot of our stuff is sitting on, like, the, um, the TV box and stuff like that is sitting on a coffee table, so everything is just kind of out and exposed. So, um, if you look at Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel, you can see, like, entertainment units that they have the TV mounted on the wall and then on either side there's like bookcases and cabinets on the ground and then like a little cabinet thing below and basically that's what we want to build we just don't want to pay twenty six hundred dollars or more for it which shoot it may end up being cheaper that way um but we're either going to make that or have it made depending on what is cheaper um in terms of we don't have all the tools to make it look nice and not just like a after school project so, those are our projects that we need to do around the house, um, which basically that's going to deplete more than all of our savings that we have right now, so um, we need to take a break for that so that we can do all that um, as cheaply as possible, um, but as nice as possible, and so that we can build back up our savings for my maternity leave when that happens. 
So then let's go back to my wisdom teeth. I have all four wisdom teeth. They are partially, um, what do they call it? They, they're partially out, um, but they're so impacted that they'll never come all the way out until they push all my teeth together and forward and all that. So that's a problem in and of itself. Um, the two main problems that I have with them are one that um, most of your teeth are just a single root. Um, your molars are all a double root. Well, your wisdom teeth, even though they are molars, they have one single root. Mine have two, um, which is bad. And the other bad thing about it is that my roots tend to go pretty long. And because of that, all four of my wisdom teeth, the roots are really, really close to my facial nerves. Um, so literally a dentist will not touch my wisdom teeth, won't even go near them. Um, I have to go to an oral surgeon to get them removed. And basically what they have to do is they have to slice each tooth into four pieces and pull each piece out. I've been having a lot of problems the last few days with my wisdom teeth and it always comes and goes like that. But I'm getting really worried. My teeth are shifting because of them and I'm getting really worried that they're going to cause some of my other teeth to need to be pulled and then I already am going to end up needing braces probably. I could go without them at this point if my teeth were to be pulled. I could go without them and not need them. Um, my teeth are a little bit crooked now when they used to be perfectly straight. So there's that. Um, and then my job. That's a whole video in and of itself. If you want to hear about it, let me know and I will make a video about it. And Sierra, speaking of videos, I still need to make, I will be either emailing you or making a video about the, um, paranormal stuff that I talked about way back when. Um, so with my job and the wisdom teeth, which are going to be expensive, but, um, I may have found a way to make it far, far more cheaper, far, far more cheap. <laughs> um, I've got to do that. So the real reasons besides the house stuff and the money to um, take a break for trying to conceive is really so I can do my wisdom teeth, get my wisdom teeth pulled out because I obviously can't be pregnant with that. But um, I need to get them pulled. Um, they already were causing some problems that I figured we'd just wait until our first pregnancy was over and then I would get them done and you know, all that. Well, it's taking a lot longer than we had hoped and now that they're causing some problems again, I just, can't really wait anymore so I really don't want to take a break but I will um, I had talked to Jeremy last night and I was you know saying I don't really want to take a break and he was just kind of going well mm. um, and I wanted to get some you know baseline answers even if they change I wanted some kind of plan as to are we taking three months off are we taking six months off um, am I going back on birth control? Am I going to get my IUD back? Blah, blah, blah. But he just wasn't talking about it. So tonight I'm going to try and take a different approach and be very, very, very direct about it. Because that's kind of what he needs <laughs> from me so that we can actually talk about this stuff and I can get the answers that I want or need out of him. So I will keep you all posted about that, but that's where we're at. So... I hope you're all doing well. Congratulations to all the new BFPs, and I'm so glad for you all. And baby dust for all of you still trying. And hopefully when I get back in the game, it'll happen a little bit quicker. I will talk to you ladies later. Bye.